I'm not really an artist. I'm not, I don't really do that stuff. But I have done perler beads and I kind of like it. And I have a bunch of them, like a bunch of this stuff. So I was going to do a video on that. And you may have seen other people do like giant perler bead art and stuff. Well, I'm going to do that kind of thing. So I wanted to make the TK logo, but it's out of the perler beads. And it's going to have a background and everything. So, need my materials. Stay on the table. So, got all of these. Now the colors you'll see in here, not all of them are the original. So this wouldn't be there. That was where the black went. This is where the white went. And yeah, those are the only ones I changed out because I got larger bags of both the black and the white for the background. So let's get into this. Start with the T, the E and the K then do the underscore and the dash, and then do the background. Just by the way, since I don't have a tripod, this is how I'm holding the camera in place. Yeah, the top perspective camera, the way top, um, yeah. <laughs> Just as a reference point, this is the actual speed that I'm doing this at. The rest of it is in GoPro time lapse or GoPro time lapse sped up. Also, there was I put some planning into this before I started, so that's why I actually look like I know what I'm doing. So here I'm just doing the beginning of the T and it it's a very, very slow process. Yep.
So at this point, I had every single letter done except for the K. So for the K, I ended up having to cut a bunch of beads in half and kind of try to iron them together. It didn't really work very well, so when I do bring the K back in, it's disjointed. Slightly. What I'm doing now in this clip is I'm sort of lining the things up to get an idea of where I'm going to put the, like, the background and everything and different stuff in the background, and I was making sure all of the letters fit. So, next, I will be doing the background. And those clips will be sped up even more than the time lapse, simply because it took so long.
I have finally finished the background. Yeah, it took a really, really long time to get it all ready. And so when I put the letters on, I'm going to put them, the rainbows, uh, bleh, the letters will be going in a rainbow left to right, and this will be going right to left, because I thought that when it was this way, I don't know, I just didn't like it as much. The letters didn't stand out as well. So yeah. And I'm going to mount it on this piece of plastic, which is like the back of a VCR or something. And this is going on top of it. With the letters on top of that. I got the idea for this video from Vex. Because he made a much bigger thing than this, clearly. But yeah, I need to glue it on now. Yay. At long last, this TK thingy is finally done. I've been waiting to finish this for a long time. So, the last portion of the video, when I said I was about to just hot glue it together, well, my hot glue gun broke, so it's actually been a few weeks. But that's not really very important. What is important is that it's finally done. So I'm gonna hang it up at some point, not sure when, but this is the end of the video. I'm so glad this is done and that it's not broken. I think it looks pretty cool with the two layers and everything. And I have more projects in mind. So if you like this stuff with the perler beads, leave a like or a comment or whatever. Just to let me know that you like stuff like this. And if you don't, I mean, I'll probably do it anyway. But the more likes and whatnot, the more of this kind of video I'll do. So, this is now the end of the video, and goodbye.